Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. If you do go on to enjoy today's video and want more content like this, then feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. By the way, if you would like your own clips featured in one of our videos, then feel free to submit them to the form in the description down below. We start things off with a male feminist, and wow, this guy is just as bad as most of the feminists we have seen in this video. This guy was complaining about some pretty minor things, and complaining how there is a double standard with these things when it comes to men and women. Prepare to cringe. That don't make f***ing sense thanks to the patriarchy. When ladies do not shave their armpits or their legs and occasionally their upper lip, the male species will say, Ugh, gross. That's disgusting. Meanwhile, in penis town, we can have literal pubic hair on our face and it's seen as cool, sexy, hip. Trend. Men, check your watches. Most of us are not on Pacific Standard Time. No, we're on f***ing double standard time. This time we have a feminist who made a statement that got everyone in the studio absolutely stunned. They really couldn't believe what she said. She was speaking on equality between women and men, and she made a statement about child custody cases, and well, what she had to say had everyone in disbelief. A woman in the studio had to correct her on her crazy statement. Um, between facial, the kind of equality that you're talking about, which is you're basically saying that women shouldn't have you know, money to provide for their children. Men shouldn't have to pay money to provide for their children. When men actually petition for child, or um, I'm sorry, for custody of their children, they're very likely to get it. What? That's actually not true. That actually is. That is total bull****. When men actually request custody of their children, they almost always get at least joint custody. Men always there, lose custody battles. Between there's they a get huge... it and they almost always get joint custody. I mean, there's a very big difference. There's some... Caitlin Bennett is at a protest asking people some questions about why they are protesting and what their thoughts and opinions are. That's all she wants, but the protesters, for some reason, do not like her and won't answer her questions. One even started insulting and touching her. It was very weird, and all Caitlyn could do was laugh. There they are touching me again. <laughs> very cool. I like your hat. That's very cute. Your your button says F the NRA. Can you go more into depth about that? F you and the NRA. F off. <laughs> You're so mad. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Now we have a feminist who came onto Fox News and she complained that it is really inappropriate for people, including experts, to say that breastfeeding is natural. She says that also the men are allowed to, and should be able to feed the children, and well, yeah, no one is denying that. She forgets that experts say that breastfeeding is much better than formula, and obviously, it is natural. Well, breastfeeding doesn't come naturally, as pediatricians will tell you. It's not exactly easy. There are lactation specialists out there. There's a whole sure. industry out there. So breastfeeding isn't exactly natural. It doesn't come naturally to women. So what they're saying is, uh, which I'm so happy there's a study out there that are finally letting women not have this guilt trip, that it's okay to hand the formula over to daddy, to the men, and it's natural for a man to feed a baby. So they're saying that only a woman able to feed a child is, is inappropriate. It's unethical and inappropriate, and I'm so what? so glad well, that women it, are left off, let off the hook. Finally, I mean, it, it's not unethical or inappropriate, whatever those words mean. I mean, it can. It's the opinion of some physicians that breast milk is superior. In this clip, we have Bill Burr having a little bit of a rant about feminists. He strongly hates that feminists have a really big victim mentality and thinks that they complain about everything. He says that feminists should take initiative and start their own thing and not complain. And he says all of this very bluntly. Can women be funny? Yeah, of course. Some people have a hard time saying yes, though. There are a lot of angry young men on the internet that are like, oh, women can't, guys, can't be stop funny. It. Will you guys just fucking grow up and just sit down and write your own horse shit and come up with it? Start your own fucking show. Have your own award show. Quit waiting around for other people to do shit for you. That's the fucking problem. If you guys had your own big club and I was standing outside of it, you'd never fucking let me in. I'd start my own shit. You guys got to start your own shit. You got brains in there, right? I, I we now have someone on a show, and he is having a debate with a feminist about how there was a feminist that lied about certain facts, and he came to set the record straight. More specifically on the point that the feminist said that women on the corporate boards improved profits. He came with facts and stats to back up his argument. I've been presenting uh, prominent feminists with Lying Feminists of the Month awards. And I had the pleasure this morning of being on ITV's This Morning on the, on the sofa with Caroline Criada Perez, who we've presented two awards. 
No, no, saying? No, well, well, the first one was, was she, she lied about the impact of more women on corporate boards. And, more and by that you mean that this uh, claim that women on corporate boards improve profits? That's, you that's, don't think that's true? Well, it's not that I don't think it is. All the evidence says that that is not so. Well, so. So we challenged her and she has had no response. All the longitudinal studies that we're aware of show that women do not improve corporate financial performance. It's really clear. We now go to a woman's protest, which was happening in front of the White House as the women were protesting against Donald Trump. There was one lady in particular who had a poster that read, Build Bridges, Not Walls. She was asked about her stance on the borders and the like, and, well, it was very clear that she is very lost when it comes to this particular field. You, do, you don't like the wall, but you do like the idea of increased border security? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, that would be fine. What would be something, I guess, that you would prescribe in order to have stricter border security, then? Um, well, what's the border security for? Uh, to keep people that we don't want in the country out of the country. Who don't you want in the country? People that commit crimes. Okay, most of the people that are coming across the border are hoping to escape. Wouldn't that be an illegal crossing, though, making them criminals then? I don't believe we should criminalize it. Next, we have a feminist who was doing slam poetry about how she hates that women are expected to shave and not be hairy. This all started all because women in the Walking Dead series are shaved, and she thinks it's unrealistic and stems from this expectation society has of women about not being hairy. I mean, I can think of a million other things to worry about than this, to be honest. That's feminist for you. Now we have a very weird feminist who decided to record this video at the gym for some reason. In this video, he was trying to explain if a man gets physical with another man, it doesn't make them gay, and that they just like the act of getting physical itself. He goes into a lot of detail about it, and it just sounds so ridiculous. We've heard many crazy things, but this is right up there. Those were about straight men having gay sex, and I'm getting activity again in comments that people don't understand that straight men can be attracted to the sex act, but not to the man. Straight men having sex with men doesn't cancel somebody's heterosexuality any more than a straight woman having sex with a woman cancels her sexuality. And it's not about body erasure either. Please don't say that. Bisexual men are attracted to both men and women to different degrees. Straight men are not attracted to men. They're attracted to the sex with men. Could some of these men be gay or bisexual? Absolutely. But that comes over time and that's a trajectory that only they can be in touch with to figure that out. Not the therapist and- We end things off with this feminist on a CNN show who seemed to be part of a panel of guests and they were all having a debate. This feminist got into a heated debate with a woman on the other side and well, the feminist's head was absolutely boiling. She was extremely triggered and shouting at the woman she was debating with. The woman did not need to do much to get this feminist completely angry. And wait a minute, wait a minute, no. You can't ask me a question. Because you can't answer the question. Oh, you can't what ask me a question, honey, I can't answer, so don't even answer. try. What attracted the father of the Orlando terrorist to your candidate? He's a mentally ill individual oh, who that's ran what for president. Him. I get it. Pardon me? What attracted him to your candidate? And your answer was he's mentally ill. I have no, he's mentally ill. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, then feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and much more. Goodbye for now, and we'll see you next time.